men and all y'all women that lay up with a four-figure nigga every night talking about Lori Harvey and her decisions, take several seats. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Jessica Lover of Cats, Trap Music, and You. And here we talk about any and everything under the sun. So guys, I'm gonna talk about a few things today, y'all. If you don't know, I live in Texas and Texas has had like an unprecedented once in a lifetime winter storm in the middle of an unprecedented once in a lifetime pandemic. So we've just been going through it, honestly. Like y'all, I didn't have no power for a couple days. I didn't have no heat. I've been in here struggling. Me and the cats all bundled up. So I'm finally just excited that I can get in front of this camera today with lights and talk to you guys. It's been so long. Anyway, so while we've been over here, fish tanks froze. I don't know if you guys saw the girl on TikTok where her fish tank froze. All her fish were just like, you know, little ornaments in a big ass ice cube. While we've been over here struggling as Texans, Ted Cruz, our whole senator, just jumped to Cancun, you know, enjoying his best life. Ted Cruz, count your days. 2022 is coming soon and you're out of there. We're done with you. Okay, so moving on, um, I also wanna talk about Boosie versus Lori Harvey. Y'all, th this whole situation to me is a hot mess. So if you, if you don't know what's going on, Boosie went on Vlad, which, to be honest, I don't know why these black men specifically keep going on Vlad's platform for free. This man, Vlad, has accumulated over $6 million in wealth from free interviews from black men. Talking about black culture and hip hop with somebody who genuinely do not give a damn about any of these things. Like, because if you did care, you wouldn't be asking all of these dumb ass questions. Like, so anyway, Boosie goes on Vlad because he ain't got nothing else to do. And Vlad brings up Lori Harvey and her body count. Now, when I first heard the interview, I was dead ass like, what does that have to do with Boosie and whatever the fuck Boosie got going on? Like, shouldn't Vlad be talking about, I don't know, new music or just something Boosie related? Well, why are we even asking Boosie's opinion on a pussy that's out of his tax bracket? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like why are we even asking Boosie's opinion on anything? This is the same man that said that he hired street workers to, you know, work on his son that, that, that was underage, that, that, that was like 12, 13, 14, to ensure that they won't be gay. Like, th this is that same individual, and we asking Boosie about anything? About anything when, when it comes to morality, common sense? Like, like I just don't understand wh why Boosie was the person to bring that question up to, and not, I don't know, Lori Harvey, or the nigga that she actually fucking with. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys listen to the interview, and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Lori Harvey. Now, I'm just going to go down her body count real quick. We're going to go down the line. Started with Trey Songs. Then it went to Justin Combs. Then it went to his father, <laughs> Sean Combs. Sean Diddy Combs. I haven't heard of that one before. Then it went to Lewis Hamilton, the race car driver. Then it went to Future. And now she's with Michael B. Jordan. What's your take on this? I think we need to stop giving the woman the power, you know, with, with situations like this. You know, girls keep saying it's goals. This is not goals, you know what I'm saying? We got to start giving the bachelors, the men who running through a, a beautiful woman like this to credit, who not housing her, running through her. I know Laura, a beautiful woman, but we got to stop giving the glory to the woman. What about the bachelors? You know, what about the futures, the Trey Song, who been in through these, you know, got to start giving them the credit instead of Lord. Well, to be fair, most of the guys you talk about have been through a bunch of bad chicks already. You right. know what I mean? Although Lori right. Harvey's a very pretty girl, I wouldn't put her at the absolute top of the... But the industry has. Okay. You wouldn't put her. Yeah. The music has, the, you know what I'm saying? So you got to look at the bachelors who hear home, hear, hear home somebody's song and be like, oh, everybody talking about, oh, watch this. Yeah, I'm going to go get them. People act like they falling, but nobody's stuck. You're only going to stuck, you know, once you done ran through... Like that, you know, you're really gonna, only gonna catch a simp. You ain't gonna catch no street. Well, she got Michael B. Jordan, who's pretty, pretty famous actor. They look good together, too. That's the kind of guy who would marry her. So, so you wouldn't marry a Lori Harvey? Nah, I wouldn't. No. Well, you're not talking about I, I, I don't look for that in a woman. If a girl like that, I'm just trying to fuck her to, you know, tell my homie, you know, <laughs> or my son 20 years ago, when he lets lust off of his son, I f you know what I'm saying? But that's it. Why are we even worried about people's body count in 2021 is beyond me when we um, don't even have the ability, Vlad, I'm talking to you and Boosie, to even be, you know, on Lori Harvey's wall of fame. You know, like, you don't even have the ability. You ain't even, like, you don't have the access to even be worried about her body count in the first place. But anyway, the thought that Boosie literally parted them crusty-ass lips 
to say that we have got to stop. We, we need to remove the credit, take the credit from Lori Harvey and giving it to these men that has, you know, just hit it and quit it and not been caught up. Huh? Like, where is the logic in any of that? Like, so we're crediting men like yourself, Boosie, who got eight baby moms. Boosie, let's real quick, let's run down your stats, and then let's run down the stats of Lori Harvey. And I wrote it down here in my handy dandy notebook. Shout out Blue's Clues. So, Boosie, you have eight kids, six baby mamas, you're 38 years old, and you're worth $800,000 as of 2021. Okay? Lori Harvey is... She has zero children, zero baby daddies, um, is 24 years old, and is worth $1 million as far as 2021. Ain't wrote a song, ain't, you know, been in no music videos, simply amassed a million dollars by being cute on Instagram. And you saying, let's give the credit to these niggas that has hit it and quit it, like who? Like Future, who himself got uh, 11 kids and 58 baby mamas? You? Like, what is their credit to give? Like, and also guys, why do we keep forgetting that they, like, these women also have sex with these men. We gotta stop seeing sex as one-sided, like, oh yeah, he was able to hit it and quit it and not get caught up. She was able to hit it and quit it and not get a baby and not become a baby mama or a single mother, okay? Can you say that about your eight baby mamas? No, you can't. And you talking about you want a good girl to marry well, like who? Because you wouldn't even marry the mother of your own kids. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what? The, the double standards to me is comical. It's comical how we need to remove the credit from a woman that's, you know, bouncing around, let you tell it, but give it to men doing the same thing. Boosie, make it make sense. Just make it make sense for me. For me, okay? You can't, because it don't. And I don't know why this is bothering me, Vlad talking about, I mean, yeah, though, Lori Harvey is a very pretty girl. She ain't at the top. Black, what the fuck you look like? Like, how dare you? Like, why are we allowing this man that's not even a part of this culture to bring down this young, beautiful, vibrant woman? For what reason? And Boosie, like, the fifth, sixth person that Vlad has even asked about Lori's body count. Like, it's almost, it's giving obsessive. Like, what is your obsession with the inside of her vaginal canal? Like, why are you that about what she got going on like I just don't get it y'all I really just don't also y'all I really just have to say this because like this is also like weighing heavily on my mental how do we know that she has slept with all these people now I know that we can assume like she's grown she's beautiful probably but like we have seen her with these people the only people that we know that she legitimately have dated and it's been confirmed is future and Michael B. Jordan, to my knowledge. The, the rest of this stuff is like, oh, Lori has been seen out with Trey Songz. Lori has been seen out with, you know, P. Diddy or whatever the hell. But how do we know she even slept with all these people? Like, just because you're seen out with somebody that does not give them obligation to your body or your body parts. Like, I don't understand, like, why we as a society just like, oh, she passed around. She doing this, she doing that. Like, we, 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 don't, we don't know. I think it's completely asinine that we are so invested and what this this woman is doing like we were all 24 like we, we just and was living our best lives we just wasn't in the public view Lori is doing what she's supposed to be doing I promise you she's out she's not becoming a baby mama she's you know exploring her options with high-value men except future but you know she's exploring her options with these men out here and not getting stuck with their kids and being a single mother like we should be applauding that Lori don't have no tapes Lori ain't been, she ain't twerking on the internet I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that but I'm saying like we just automatically slapping this pass around label on this woman that we know nothing about I think that it stems from a, a place of envy from men and women like men y'all are jealous that you don't have the access to her the way you might want Boosie and Vlad and, and any other roach that's talking mess on Twitter okay but and I'm talking about the women too but laying up with a four figure every night and, and you worried about what Lori Harvey got to do and I'm so tired of these women all on the internet on Twitter talking about yeah y'all just mad that you know Boosie got standards I've been telling y'all that, that Lori ain't all that girl sit down your insecurities are blaring out even if you do feel that way which is totally fine with you feeling that way I don't think it's ever necessary to you know bring women down on a public platform just because just because like th there's a bunch of opinions that I have 
to myself but it's not necessary for me to you know spew them out on Keila was internet shout out to Hunter x Hunter it is not gonna benefit me at all to spew all that hatred over the airways for what reason D did that make my stack of money grow did that make anything happen for me that's gonna benefit me did that boost me in my career no it didn't of course boosie woke up to backlash um of people with common sense wondering why he was even speaking on lori harvey her womb her body her anything and his response was even more ignorant basically he was saying we've got to stop praising the pass around and praise the man that passed her around so that don't make no damn sense but what what was even more ignorant was he said y'all praising lori harvey for, for you know not sticking with a dude you know and moving around but y'all beat up the woman that stayed by the dude that do her bad she the real woman that's sticking by one man regardless if he do her bad or whatever y'all make that make sense I, I don't have words for that. I'm so tired of the rhetoric of a real B word. It's, it's gonna be the one that stay down, a down ass B. She gonna stay down and stand by her man's side, no matter if he dogging her in the streets, got her looking stupid, bringing whatever home to her, whether it's a baby or STD. She just down for the cause because she a real ass B. Y'all, that's gone. It is 2021, it's not 1941 or whatever the heck. That is out of the window. That makes absolutely no sense. Boosie, sit down, have several seats, and keep it pushing. Anyway, y'all, back to just things that don't make no sense. Let's talk about B. Simone. Y'all, I really do not like B. Simone. Like, and I want to get that out the way first because me not liking her has nothing to do with what I'm about to say on what's going on with B. Simone. But I just really am not a fan. I'm not a fan of any woman that makes her career off of chasing a man. To me, it's just weird. You, you was running around behind the baby for Lord knows how long. He was not giving you no mind. He went to Danny Lay and then you backdoor and big up Danny Lay and said that she has one up over black women because she's Latin. And the reason that the baby chose her was simply because she was Latin and she was exotic. And honestly, as black women, we just can't compete. Me and mom speak for yourself, okay? I'm in competition with no woman but the one in the mirror. So your, your insecurities are blaring, sis. It's in the basement, we can see it. And I don't like it, it's oozing, it may be contagious. Keep that shit over there okay so i didn't even speak about B B Simone with all that was going on and then of course you know the, the danny lay was dumped by the same igga that just that B Simone was running behind it was just a whole mess but anyway B Simone found herself trending once again spewing r things that just really don't matter so she was talking about that in order to attract a man you have to be all of those things that you want in a man we are all these things we want in a man a list of things he gotta be tall he gotta be dark he gotta be handsome he gotta have pretty teeth he gotta be a family man he gotta be financially stable he gotta be rich he gotta be successful he gotta be all these things and we ain't even have the things on that list he gotta be a family man she might talk to your mama in six months but you want him to be a family man he gotta be financially stable your account is in the negative ma'am overdraft fee he gotta have a job you need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed he gotta have pretty teeth you ain't seen a dentist in six years he gotta have a six pack and be in shape you can't and walk up a flight of stairs while huffing and puffing. Get your life together. This whole list that he gotta be. You ain't even half the things on that list. So this is what I challenge you to do so we can manifest love all 2021. Make that list of that perfect dream man that you got in your mind. Then, <laughs> what I did, make a list of the type of woman he would need right by his side. You want him to be in shape? You need to get to the gym. Equally yoked. You want him to be financially stable? Well, you need to start saving. Because you can't keep a dime to your name. Huh? You want him to be a family man? Call your mama. You become a family woman. Heal your traumas before you put all this on him. You want him to be patient. Your patience is thin. You want him to be understanding. You're the least understanding person in your circle of friends. But he got to be understanding. Fix you. Fix you. Whatever you want, become that. Now, guys, that's true. That's true. I have to say that I do actually agree with B. Simone. If you want somebody that's patient, that's kind, that communicates effectively, then you also have to be that person, okay? And we all know that you have to be in the right space to attract that type of man anyway. So nobody is even disputing 
that. Even though I don't agree with, if you want a six-figure man, you gotta be making six figures too. I don't believe that it's the woman's responsibility to contribute financially anyway, but that's a different conversation. Like, it's really difficult for me to submit if I'm paying half of the bills, sis. Like, that's just how I'm coming, but that's another situation for another day, all right? But I do believe that, yes, you do have to be worthy of the type of man that you want if you're asking for this high value, high caliber man. But once again, I don't understand the incessant need for these women, especially women like B. Simone, because she's done this multiple times, the incessant need for these women to drag down other women. Like, that is like typical pick me behavior. Dragging down other women is not gonna make you look better, sis. It's not gonna snatch that waist anymore. It's not gonna fix any of those insecurities. Like, to me, I just don't see the need to go on these very public platforms. She got millions of followers to go on her very public platform and bring other women down. I just don't know why women feel the need to do these things. To me, it's just so weird. It's so off-putting. It's just not it. It's just not it, sis. She said what she had to say, and I just, I don't care. Work on you sis and the rest should work itself out stop trying to police other women it's it's off-putting and it's just simply not cute anyway so tyrese and his crybaby ass has something to say he said women are pissed calling her a fraud but why dear at the b simone i'm gonna hire you as soon as i can promise raw truth hurts who are you hiring anybody for anything? I'm like, I, I, I mean, maybe he is behind the scenes hiring people. I don't know what Tyrese got going on. The only thing that he's been like known for lately is crying all over Instagram Live. So what are you talking about? Like, shut up, shut up. We're not interested. Next. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Tell me what you feel about all these topics down below in the comments, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're also here in Texas or any other state that's struggling with this winter storm, we're all in this together. And until next time, guys, bye. Mwah.